I'm Abhishek. Uh, I'm a scientist, material scientist, engineer, and a business leader in new energy for the last 12, 13 years. At Masters Union, I'm teaching the course Mapping the Future of Energy Sector. Often, you know, in many other business schools, there is a disconnect between you know, what is taught in class and what actually happens in the job and what happens in the life. So, so I think it's very essential to be very realistic and have each component overlap. And, and yeah, having worked with companies like SoftBank, Tesla, Ola, um, a lot of things can be directly transferred to all the candidates. This is a new energy and new energy means renewables. We also have electric vehicles and there is something in between called battery storage. The sun will shine at night if you store during the day and cars will move if you have batteries. When candidates go into the job after two years or one and a half year, they will see the transformations or amazing things one after another. Like I saw, like solar, then comes EVs, then tomorrow maybe I work with some other company, I see something else. But in this one and a half to two years, or even through this energy course, we'll be able to express five, six transformations that are happening today in the world together. This is a time of our life. We are seeing the disruption in energy, trillion dollar market. Mobility, trillion dollar market. Batteries, again trillion dollar market. Through batteries, you know, a lot of things will change. Ships can become powered by batteries. Aviation, uh, material handling, industrial, everything could be, you know, the diesel can go away. So we have like multiple trillion dollar industries. Didn't even say about chip or semiconductor. That is also undergoing transformation. So I think this is the time the candidates have to think about all the four or five transformations that are happening and how they integrate everything and you know make sense out of what they want to do as a career. And that could lead them to a very interesting role, whether it's banking or consulting or venture capital or even uh, the existing great EV companies. The opportunity, one out of every three jobs in India, Asia and the world will be in new energy. And by new energy, it's not only about solar or wind energy, it's electric vehicles. Uh, battery is the heart of electric vehicle. Battery is an energy. So, so it's all new energy. So one out of three jobs will be in new energy. We already have general large companies coming up, Ola, Aether, Tata Mahindra will also move uh, swiftly to EV, pure EV. All sets of functions, all industries, you know, are very much open to working when it comes to this new energy. Specifically in India, I would say that banking, finance, consulting, and even general management roles would take a lead from a business school perspective. We have turmoils going on, as you see, very recent, as recent as Afghanistan, but previously in Middle East, even in US. The point is that solar and electric vehicles have not stopped. In fact, they have accelerated. In fact, the coronavirus specifically had a negative impact on oil and gas industry, which further accelerated uh, this new energy. And one of the reasons is that this industry figured out that a better thing is available at a lower cost. And that's why the entire world today, uh, triggered by pandemic, is actually thinking about a better future which is maybe clean, more transparent, um, green, and, and therefore I think the trend will continue to accelerate.